Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture we are going to download the HomeKit simulator for our app so that way we can develop and test the app on different devices. So join me in your project under the root file and then the tab signing and capabilities. Here because we added HomeKit as a capability to our app target we can now download the HomeKit simulator. Now you only have to do this once for all of your apps. So you just have to click on this button and it will direct you to your default browser where you have to sign in with your developer account. This can be a free account. And then you can download the HomeKit simulator. This will be a new app. So it will be an app that you'll have on your computer just like Xcode is an app on your computer. It's called the HomeKit Accessory Simulator and it looks like this. Okay, so we have the HomeKit Accessory Simulator. Here you're going to see your accessories that are available. First, accessories that are found like a MacBook Pro and then accessories that you can create yourself like I have here my light and I have light 2. So I've created two lights previously. So to build an accessory you just have to go to this plus button in the bottom left hand corner. You can add a new accessory or bridge or add a bridged accessory. So if you select new accessory here you can give your accessory a name such as we can call this my light 3. You can have a manufacturer and a model name. I'm just going to put in some samples here. A serial number, a setup code, and a category. So we have different accessories, air conditioners, air purifier, bridge, dehumidifier, door, door lock, fan, faucets, garage door opener, heater, humidifier, light bulb, other outlet, programmable switch, security system, sensor, shower systems, sprinklers, switch, thermostat, window, and window covering with more added over time. So you can choose your category and then your accessory type IP camera or video doorbell as well. So I'm just going to choose light bulb. Okay, then I am going to hit finish. That's going to add a new accessory to my list and here we have it under doorbells because I selected my accessory type as a video doorbell. So if you have that selected then it's going to be added under this doorbells category. So just take note of that. So here once you've created an accessory like light 3 you can switch on or off you have a setup code, so a QR code that can be scanned for this accessory. You have your pairings, connections, identifier, setup ID, configuration number, state number. You can have a category as well, like light bulb, and primary service as well. So primary service, we have accessory information, camera stream management, doorbell, microphone, motion sensor, none, or speaker. Then you can also have optional things like an IP camera and then accessory information, a microphone, speaker, so that's because we've made it a doorbell. So if you make it a doorbell, it will get some of these select properties. So it all depends on the type of accessory that you add. For example, let's say I add an air purifier and I call this my, my air. Then I hit finish. Note I'm not selecting an accessory type this time. So it will just get added to my general accessories. So now we have my air. And here we have the accessory information. And then we can add a new service to this my air. Right? So we can have a longer list this time. That's because now we're not selecting from accessories, but we're selecting from services, which are like a sensor or a battery or a switch. All right, so we have accessories, then we have services for each accessory. And the type of service that you add depends on the accessory. So if I have a light here, which I created earlier, 
by default, a light is going to have an on-off property, a brightness, a hue, and a saturation property. All right, so you can remove some of these properties if you don't want them, but some properties are required, like on-off. You have to have that for a light bulb. You can also add characteristics. All right, so you can add things like brightness, carbon dioxide detected. So now we have a long list of characteristics, which is even longer than services, like the status, the target, the version, the types, the current state, and more. So for a light bulb, I might add something like brightness. All right, then I can hit finish, and now we have brightness back in here. So this sets the brightness of the light bulb. And again, you can remove that if you don't want the brightness property. So each of your accessories can have services and also characteristics. So I could still add a service to the light bulb, or I can add characteristics. So for our purposes, let's just create a simple light that just has an on-off switch. That's it. So we'll keep it simple, and then over time you can build more accessories with more characteristics and services. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.